One of the things that's very interesting is we are teaching computers to understand us so fast you can't believe it. And we really do risk walking into an electronic world where you will only see what you want to see. I mean, obviously the marketers are trying to do that as, as fast as possible, right? They only want to send you ads that you're going to be interested in because it's expensive and foolish to send you anything that will annoy you or that you'll ignore. And so the marketers are trying like mad to map who you are, even by watching your eyes. They're, they're trying to figure out who you are so they can send you the right information, but the danger is that that'll happen, say, in the domain of news and broader information, increasing this tendency for people to be siloed in their exposure to the external world. It's a big, pro it's sort of like each of us is becoming a micro-celebrity surrounded by electronic sycophants who do nothing but tell us exactly what we want to hear. It's a real problem. Karl Popper, a famous philosopher of science, said that one of the things that you should do, and this is akin to the Piagetian view, is you should always look for information that contradicts your current viewpoint. Now that's painful, right? Because who wants their axioms contradicted? It can take you apart. But it's the only way that you can ensure that you're learning at the same time that you're maintaining your stability. And that's another reason why it's really necessary to engage in dialogue with people that you do not agree with. Because they're the ones who will tell you things that you don't know. It's, cru it's of crucial importance in the maintenance of your own stability. The worst thing that can happen to a person, no, because there's many horrible things that can happen to a person, but one of the worst things that can happen is that you find yourself in a situation where no one is offering you corrective feedback anymore. Because you rely on the corrective feedback provided by other people to keep yourself sane, to keep moving in the ever-changing environment. And if you cut yourself off from that feedback, then, well, then you end up static and shrinking. It's really, it's really not good. You get less and less competent, you get less and less confident, and the threats outside of you loom larger and larger. So that's all to do with the, uh, you know, the domain outside the light.